Right, we're going in now. Hoggle banished blue. Hoggle banished blue. Hoggle Eden blue. Hoggle Eden red. Hoggle banished red. And thank you, Kefir, for the follow. Much appreciated, my guy. So, the defenders have got four muskets out. They've basically got the exact same setup as when they just attacked Banished Av. Eden have dropped, I believe, a mall. I'm pretty sure they had four last time. Um, they've only got one musket. They've got a short bow. Okay, so I think they've roughly got the same as well. Let's see what goes down here then, shall we? So Banished have got a couple of... Outriders out off the bat. They've got a Namcam as well. They've got a Javelin. Oh, they've got a couple of Javelins, a couple of Palace Guards, a couple of Shenjin. And Tenet, thank you very much as well, my dude, for the follow. While nothing's going on, I'll quite happily shout stuff like that out when the battle's going on. I probably will ignore everything that's going on apart from the fight and then I'll get back to it afterwards unless I forget, which is probably going to happen because I'm terrible and everybody should know this by now. <laughs> Right, so this is probably going to go down exactly the same as the last fight. Banished are going to get on some of the artillery at the front. They're going to just try using their ammo. Probably not going to get rid of any of the, the siege towers. They'll probably just aim at uh, units if they can, just to get as much damage done as possible. They'll pull everything back, do a B, C, and if you like, C side supply defense. Uh, B up here will get ignored. There is like a little glitch you can do, but it's been banned. If anybody gets seen doing it, they can like... As a musket at least, you can jump through here and bomb down on shit. Um, that's not allowed. You can even run through the back here and bomb stuff that's back here. But if anybody gets seen doing that, their team gets disqualified. Uh, just a heads up on that one. And the same as well. I'll go over a rule very quickly. It's a rule change what's normally the case. If anybody dies three times, they are out because we are playing CB League rules because it's the only map that would work. So... I'm, I wonder how Eden are going to do the first fight, like the first attack. Obviously, they're going to move up to A. As soon as the first Siege Tower gets in, I, I assume Banished will pull instantly back to their position back here. Um, and then Eden, well, they've got three routes, really, haven't they? I suppose, I suppose technically four. You can go, like, down the staircase and go to B on the floor. You can go up along the wall, down this staircase into the open area. You can go along the wall to the supply side area, or you can go down the staircase. Um, pushing one would probably be a bad idea unless you see that the defenders are so spread out that um, you can just bring all 15 of your dudes to bear on like a smaller pot, smaller number. Just absolutely ruin them. Right, I think that's called actually defeating in detail as well if I'm not mistaken. So the, 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 the gate's down, the first siege tower's up. The banished players are leaving. Okay, yeah. Eden won the first game, so it is Eden 1, Banished 0. Banished were obviously attacking the first time. Uh, that's to Casper Melchior. Melchior, why does that name ring a name? That name ring a name? Why does that name ring a bell is what I wanted to say. And again, guys, there's a five minute delay, so if you ask things and you're wondering why do I answer five minutes late, that's that's why. <laughs> is Simka going to get caught out again? No, Simka. No! No! He's dead. He's got him. They've got him. Oh, mm, mm. oh he went back in. Oh, mm, Simka's dead. So he's just lost his life. Um, what unit did Simka have? Simka had Outriders out. Okay, so they're gonna be. They're gonna pull back. Banished have got a similar sort of tactic going on as what Eden have had, I should say. Uh, I can't help but feel having everything blobbed over here so that Eden can see it though. Eden just aren't going to go around that way, I don't think. Look how far... They're never going to walk around the wall to go up this seaside. Not in a million years. I reckon they might do this staircase and this staircase. They're not going to go back around, though, I wouldn't have thought. No. No, they're not. No, that was retreating. Yeah, okay, yeah. They're, 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 they're going to go... That would take too long to get there. And Banished will be able to see, like, six years that they're running over that way, so... One of my gaming PCs is from 2012 and it still works. <laughs> Potato PCs do work. That's why it's just they work really badly. <laughs> 
Right, so there comes a treb. Let's see if Banished have seen it. There's too much units on this staircase, though. I was saying that Eden are actually going to send a few guys around, so that's all right. So that treb did nothing, I think. Oh, no, I got a couple of guys. Look, they were lucky and managed to get a couple of guys. They did. The defenders lost 14. Attackers have lost 9. Doesn't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we're going to double check here. So the back gate's closed. What have we got up here? The axe throwers? No, that was the Kaylee militia. So the defenders have got Imperial Shields and Palace Guards already in the slot. No Fort Brachios, which is strange. You've got Anne Frank here just being a pest. <laughs> in the back lines. Probably just double checking to make sure there's nothing actually flanking. Banished have got Legendary up on the top to keep an eye on this back wall. See if anybody comes around. Looks like they're actually going to send stuff down now. There's a trep coming in. Banished are just moving around anyway, so that's probably not going to hit much. Eden are taking their time, though. Like, Banished did this as well. They took a long time, and by the time they did move, it was... It just... Everything went too slowly, and they run out of time. So I wonder if that's going to happen here. Eden have got three guys going around the back. Four guys going around the back to the, the seaside staircase. Banished have probably got enough here to stop four guys in their units. Uh, they've got Namcams firing the whole time. They've got Palace Guards, Imperial Shields here. They've got Shenzhen at the bottom. They've got two sh sets of Shenzhen. I don't know if they've got too much there. What did he just write? Love you, Madshin. <laughs> that's uh, Bubbles. That's the Liege. That's, that's Liam, for anyone that knows him. <laughs> Even in a tournament, he has to type shit. All right. So Eden have moved over, but they haven't actually brought any units yet. They've left them at the thing. I wonder if they're even going to move. I wonder if they've just done that to make Banished think that they're going to push from that direction and they're not. Are they going to do a freeway push? They've trebbed back here. Oh, they haven't seen that. That's actually going to hit those palace guards as well. Lucky. Only one hit. I don't think they lost a unit, did they? No, they didn't. So Eden are just not doing anything. They can't push up here because they've got no units. I honestly can't help but feel like these should maybe just push up and start trying to kill some heroes. Um, that would maybe be a play, actually. They need to be careful, though, because if one of those malls jump up and grab them... Now they've got five over there from Eden, but still no units. What are Eden waiting for? They've got seven minutes. Like, I'm going to check the units quick, so... Banished have got three sets of Shenzhen out. They've got a Namcam that's just continuously firing. They've got, what, four sets of Palace Guards. They've got a couple of Javelins, IPGs, and Iron Reapers. Eden, it looks like they're going to start moving for a push now. We've got Flamey Boys. They've got five sets of Palace Guards, two Shenzhen, two Zakalian. So they are probably going to push and try and get the biggest Zerg against them as possible to Zakalian militia them and then Shenzhen. They're actually going to push down the staircase now. Okay. So the Treb's just been called in. Cupid's already moving his stuff, though. They've got too much stuff over here. Eden's already pulled back. Banish need to start reacting, otherwise these units are going to be completely obsolete in the big fight that's going to go down here and here. Here and here, sorry. Although Ghost X... Oh, there's... Oh, all the ones up on the wall. That's why they have their units over there, so they can push straight over here. They're going to break down the back gate. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. So the fight's going on down here. They've got guys pushing down for the resupply. These guys are still doing nothing on the staircase. They haven't seen that nobody's up there anymore. Um, Eden's have already pushed on onto the B side. So they're going to get B easily. And most of the banished team's just over here still. And they're going for the fight here. And they should maybe be getting over it. But they're outnumbered there anyway now. They're pushing stuff into this is going to be a problem. They've obviously got javelins here. They're about to get trebbed. The back gate isn't down yet. I think they stopped chopping it. They stopped chopping it, but they can get through there pretty quickly. So Eden just managed to get cavalry through. They moved them this way and then charged onto the resupply. Uh, they've got complete control of the B side. They've got complete control of the archway here. Banished are down four heroes. They've lost one. They aren't actually going for the end point, though. They're going for the resupply. I suppose it's three kills. They completely outnumber the Banished guys over here. This is the squad that was sat on the staircase for so long. Um, 
Banished have basically just been completely wiped. We've got six guys left. Legendario and Ruger might be able to get out here, but I doubt it. Especially not with a, a short sword harassing them and so many other heroes basically attacking them the whole time. Drav managed to pull back, but they just lost a lot of guys. Uh, Legend, I think Legendary and Thing over there are going to die. I think Legendary just got picked up by a Maul as well. Um, so Eden have lost three heroes. Banished have lost 14. Simka's died twice. You have to be very careful. If he dies again, he's out of the battle. Um, only 8 Inch and Drav have not yet died for Banished. And Eden are laughing because they've lost like three dudes. So unit wise as well, Eden have got two hundred units on Banished. They absolutely won. Like they, they annihilated every fight there. Banished reacted reacted too slowly to that. They had too much on the back staircase over here. You can see my mouse. They had too much on the back staircase here. Reacted too slowly to the to the to the rotation from Eden, which meant that every engagement that Eden were in, they had numbers. They had the numbers advantage in heroes and in units, and they could just absolutely steamroll everything that was in front of them. So, let's see how Banished deal with this. Um, they've got a lot hidden in the back. If you like compound back here and on the resupplied side, there's a couple of bits as well. I can't help but feel like that's a, a mistake, because if Eden push through here with numbers, which they've shown they're very good at, they can easily just clear the point, set up a defense, and there's nothing Banished are going to be able to do to get in. They might even start a, an attack on this side to block the resupply. Banished will react to it, and then they just come in with a smaller push and just, but if you like, neutralize the end point and just take it already. Uh, Damian just got picked up by a mole and annihilated. That is why you need to be very careful of moles. Especially when you've only got three lives, you have to be extremely careful for moles. Damian had grey hair as well. So Banished are at least keeping a couple of bodies on the, the home point, but because they've got no units anywhere near it, if Eden do a push, they don't even need their units, <laughs> they're going to push them off fairly easily. Like, look how much they're outnumbering them already, hero-wise. They just lost another one because them all picked them up again. They need to get their units in. What they should maybe do is just counter-attack. Do one big counter-attack. Just like piecemeal getting picked up by moles like this and just feeding them kills is not the way to go. Having no units here to protect you from being picked up is not a good idea. That's why Eden had like four moles, didn't they? They had like three or four moles. I think Banish have got what? One? Two they've got out. And I haven't seen a single Banish mole pick up a, an Eden player yet. At the back here, there's a couple of units, but I don't think Eden's even going to bother. I think they're just going to do a main push through the middle. They've got all the numbers here. They've got the units there. If Banished move their units around here, they're going to be slow. They're obviously going to be in a position to be Treb. Is anybody going to have seen that Treb? Don't know, but they already were moving anyway, so it's kind of okay. Okay, so that's the Eden trying to... like. Firebomb over the wall there. Okay. <laughs> so FDS just got grabbed by a mole probably as well. Dragged into the, the blob down here and got absolutely ruined. And uh, managed to just feed in hero kills to Eden. So Dasu's managed to do the same. Are they going to be? At, are they actually going to have the killing power to get rid of him though? Because Banish have got a lot of short swords out. Damian might get grabbed here by the next mole player. Eden are actually just going to push in here in a sec. I think and just push stuff off. And I reckon Banished because Banished units are in the back. I can understand putting stuff here because it's safe. It can't get get wounded. But look at the amount of units Eden has here. They can stop a lot with a treb. And by the time the Banished units get there. It's going to be too late, I think. So they've tried countering this side with cavalry. Flamers from Eden have completely stopped that, though. The Treb's done a lot of work as well from Eden. Uh, the cavalry charge got completely neutered by all of the Madal that are just stacked on top of each other with the Fort Brachio. And Eden have broke through this backside and banished to basically rush in to get onto the end point. Map score, I'm crazy. Um, Eden won the first round, and Eden are going to win the second round as well, I'd say. Um, I can't see Banished. Uh, ban Banished ain't going to win. I don't think. 
Yeah, so Eden have got it. Like, and Frank's going to try getting in there. He's going to slow them down slightly. Drab's there as well. Broken's going to get on as well. Um, but Banish were down to seven dudes at the end of that. Rough battle. Rough battle. So you had 8-inch Bob was a, an A class. And everybody else B or C. That was rough, man. That was rough. The, ro the rotations there from, from Banish were slow. Um... Rough. Every, I think every single fight that, that Eden took against Banish there, they had numbers in every single fight so they could just steamroll. They were constantly, as soon as they had a, a, a mall grab up, they were running out, they were grabbing somebody, dragging them back to everyone and annihilating them. Um, if you look at the deaths here, like multiple deaths, like FDS died three times, Damiam died three times. Okay, so it's only two, but still, like everybody's died a couple of times apart from the only person that didn't die was Bob. <laughs> well, they got they they got ruined. Like, there's no, there's no nice way of saying that they got ruined when they got ruined. Like, rough, 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 rough.